Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Have you ever looked at your life and wished it was more exciting? Perhaps you'd like to travel the world or quit your job and start that hobby you love full time. Maybe you'd like to abandon society and go live in the woods. Too much? Not for this list we have today. Living off the grid is just the tip of the iceberg in today's installment. The Top 10 People Who Live Strange Lives. But before we get started, why not become an archivist today by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up. And in the comments section, tell us a lifestyle you might like to live that would seem strange to others. Number 10. Sarah Chrisman Sarah didn't know what she was missing out on in life until her husband gave her a corset for her 29th birthday. That's when she really learned Victoria's secret. The secret to living like she's in the Victorian era, that is. She started exploring that style of fashion more and in no time turned hers and her husband's lives into Victorian cosplays. Can you cosplay an era? Who knows? The change entails everything from the way they bathe with a pitcher and basin, making their own clothes with natural fibers, using oil lamps, using 19th century recipe books to cook, and of course, no driving. The one exception? They still use a refrigerator, but hey, the Victorian era wasn't built in a day. Number 9. Boomer if you visit BoomerTheDog.net, I'd guarantee that you'd be a bit confused as to what you're seeing when you see that the dog page is actually a retired human tech worker who thinks he's a dog. Things start to make a bit more sense, I guess. He's 48, he wears a collar, eats from a bowl, loves bones and cookies, and does all the other dog things. He has an indoor doghouse and says all of this stemmed from a TV show. He watched Boomer as a child, about a mixed breed dog named Boomer who helps people. He seemed to like it more than other children. While others named their dog after the canine, he became him. Technically, Boomer falls under the furry category, but he takes it more seriously than most. Number 8. Martha Mason Martha Mason was born in 1938 and found out at an early age that she had polio and became paralyzed. That alone isn't that extraordinary. She lived a normal life on paper. She graduated from high school and college with honors, actually. She hosted dinner parties. She wrote a book. But the catch is she lived 61 years in an iron lung, a pressure ventilator that helped her breathe. Doctors told her parents to take her home with the ventilator and let her have a good final year of her life. She lived a full life and died in 2009. If she can live 60 years longer than expected with a full social life, you can finish your homework before tomorrow, I guarantee it. Number 7. Lindsay Heyman Lindsay Heyman was an elderly man who decided in his 40s to dedicate the rest of his life to hauling a massive crucifix around the world preaching the good word. I have to say, my first question right off the bat is who was paying for the extra space on airlines because every airline I ever get on, I... <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, Lindsay went to 19 countries all over the globe. It wasn't always peaches and cream either. He was attacked, shot at, rejected, but that didn't stop him. He carried the cross, measuring 12 feet tall by 6 feet wide on his shoulders for 12 hours a day. He had no itinerary, doesn't know where he'll spend the night, and takes donations from supporters. Number 6. Chloe Jennings White Chloe Jennings White is a woman from Salt Lake City who has a very strange goal. She wants to be a paraplegic. That's right, she wants to be paralyzed from the waist down. She has her wheelchair, she wears leg braces that lock at the knee, she uses crutches. Sure, she takes breaks to go on 12-hour hikes, ski, and climb mountains, but when she's not doing that, she prefers to pretend to be a paraplegic. Of course, she's not actually well, she was diagnosed with BIID, Body Integrity Identity Disorder, 
which causes her to truly believe she'd be happier if only she were paralyzed, since it's possible that she could cause herself harm to achieve this goal. Doctors have said it's okay for her to just pretend. Of course, she gets a lot of hate for being a fraud, but others often say using the wheelchair is saving her life and keeping her from what her mental illness could cause her to attempt. Number 5. Kyle Kendillion Kyle is the roommate nobody wants to have in college. He went to university in Dearborn, Michigan and lived with tens of thousands of cockroaches in his house. In fact, he said he estimated the number at about 200,000. This is quite intense for a man in his 20s, like, does he have no wish to go on a date? He does it for fun and makes a little money, so I guess the motivation isn't to just be creepy. In fact, it helps him pay for his education, so I guess the question is, what would you do to pay for college? He lives with his parents, who I guess can't afford his school either, otherwise they wouldn't be living in this mess of a life either. Number 4. Maria Butsky Frankly, polyamory isn't as taboo anymore thanks to TV shows like Sister Wives. However, what Maria Butsky does isn't quite polyamory. First, Maria left her husband, Paul, for another man, Peter. Like some may do when they leave someone for someone else, she started comparing and, well, Paul had things Peter didn't. But Peter also had things Paul didn't. The only thing they both had was biblical names, I don't know. So, seeing as they became good friends, she came to them with the idea, Why don't we just all live together? <clears throat> and so they do, with two kids and all. That way Maria doesn't go from one house to another to meet her two lovers. Peter even sleeps on the couch to fit into this whole ordeal. Paul has a bedroom, and Maria doesn't sleep with either of them, spending nights instead with her oldest daughter. Whatever works for them. Number 3. Blair McMillan and the 1986 Clan. Blair McMillan and his girlfriend pretend like it's 1986. That's their actual life. They're Canadian, so maybe it's like a Canadian thing, no? Okay, well, apparently they're doing it because they got tired of their kids staring at screens and not playing like regular children. They banned all technology that wasn't around in 1986 when they were born, which to me doesn't make sense because their kids can't watch VHS tapes and they totally could when they were young. Sure, tech-dependent children are sad and a little off-putting, but is this too much? They even go on road trips across the U.S. with paper maps, coloring books, and stickers. Sounds like a nightmare. Number 2. Linnea Latanzio If you ever pictured a cat lady, a real cat lady with a bunch of cats, you wouldn't be surprised to hear that she has some extravagant name like Linnea Latanzio, right? Well, you'd be right. Linnea has 700 cats. Seems she got back at her mom, who, when she was a child, wouldn't let her have a cat. Sure showed her, didn't she? She's got plenty of room for them. 12 acres in Parlier, California for the cats she started gathering in 1981 after a divorce. Since then, she's actually rescued almost 19,000 cats. She calls her foundation the Cat House on the Kings, and it's considered to be the largest cat sanctuary in the world. She also has 15 dogs and is able to do this thanks to donations and grants. That sounds way better than the regular type of cat lady with 14 cats in a one-bedroom house and maybe a dead husband stuffed in a freezer somewhere. Number 1. Jay Reich This woman loves to collect things too. Not cockroaches or cats, but false widow spiders. They're venomous but she says she'd like to prove how harmless they are, but wait, what? She has three false widow spiders now and 10 baby spiders. She's even named the Tiny Killers. The mom's name is Scylla and allegedly very sweet. The woman, just 26 years old, says she gets very angry when people panic about false widow infestations as there's just no reason to be afraid. It's bad press for the spiders, she says. She plans to let herself be bitten by one of these spiders to prove her point. 
If anyone knows how well that went down, please tell us in the comments, though I think I can guess. Thanks for watching. Know about anyone who leads a strange lifestyle? Let us know in the comments. Nothing strange about subscribing to the channel, clicking the notifications bell, and giving this video a like before you watch another video from Top 10 Archive.